हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ संजय उडगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सिंक्रोनस काउंटर लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिजाइन डिफरेंट सिंक्रोनस काउंटर्स आउटलाइन इंट्रोडक्शन टू काउंटर्स सिंक्रोनस अप काउंटर्स सिंक्रोनस डाउन काउंटर्स question answer design of counter references in the earlier session we discussed the asynchronous counters the advantage of asynchronous counter is uh, simplicity in the logic circuit but that creates a counting delay the this limits the speed of operation of this asynchronous counter because of the introduction of ripples since in synchronous counters all the flip flops are clocked simultaneously it means that the flip flops in the counter are uh, having a clock signal simultaneously simultaneously but they requires a additional logic circuitry so the drawback of this asynchronous counter that is the speed of operation can be is removed by uh, providing a clock signal simultaneously to all flip flops and the circuit is called as a synchronous counters types of synchronous counters classified depending upon the way in which counter advances its count up counters start to count from decimal 0 that is binary 0 0 0 and increment or count upward towards decimal 15 that is 1 1 1 1 binary for four bit counters that is up to maximum count down counters start to count from decimal 15 that is maximum count binary 1 1 1 1 and decrement or count down downwards to decimal 0 or binary 0 0 0 0 this is the synchronous up counter it's a 3 bit synchronous counter uh, 3 bit synchronous counter uses three flip flops ff0 ff1 ff2 uh, the inputs uh, to these uh, flip flops are J0, K0, Z1, K1, uh, Z2, K2, and the outputs are Q0, Q1, and Q2. Uh, remember here, being a synchronous counter, the clock signal is simultaneously connected to all the flip flops. Here, J0, K0 input is connected to permanently to logic one, that is high. It will act as a T flip flop, so output output uh, should toggle at the uh, around the every clock pulse. so a q0 output of first flip flop is given as a input to the second flip flop whereas uh, q0 and q1 output uh, these are added together and given as a input to the third flip flop here if you uh, look at this timing diagrams this q0 output will toggle at the uh, leading edge of the uh, every clock cycle whereas uh, q1 will toggle or it will change its state only when the <coughs> q0 output uh, changes its state from 1 to 0 whereas this q2 output will change when both q0 and q1 uh, changes their states from 1 to 0 this is the summary of operation so initially when the counter is resetted so the uh, outputs are 0 0 0 decimal 0 then at the arrival the, of the every clock pulse uh, the count will advance as to 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 and finally 1 1 1 1 going back over here now when q0 q1 and q2 they are 1 1 1 that is the last count maximum count at the arrival the next clock pulse what happens this q0 uh, will toggle to 0 next q1 will also toggle to 0 and q2 will also toggle to 0 because uh, q1 since uh, q0 earlier uh, in the earlier state q0 of 1 so q1 will change to 0 uh, in similar manner q3 q2 will also change uh, toggle from 1 to 0 since this uh, j3 uh, it was 1 so uh, after 1 1 1 uh, the next uh, count will be 0 0 0 that is the counter will be reset 
this is the four bit synchronous up counter the only difference in the three bit and the four bit is uh, it uses a, uh, one more flip flop that is the fourth flip flop again this is flip flop a b c d outputs are a b c d again uh, clock signal is uh, given simultaneously to all four flip flops uh, output of the first is given as an input to the second then output of the first and second are ended to get to together to give uh, uh, to give as a input to the third flip flop again the outputs of one that is a b c are ended together and they are given as a input to the fourth flip flop so this is the timing diagram for the four bit synchronous up counter here again uh, flip flop a will toggle uh, at the arrival of every clock signal that is leading edge of the clock signal b will toggle when uh, when uh, flip flop a changes from its state from 1 to 0 similarly a third flip flop c will uh, change its state when both uh, a and b flip flop changes from 1 to 0 and finally a flip flop d it will change its state only when a flip flop a b c will change will change uh, will change their states from 1 to 0 this is the down counter it's a 4 bit down counter there is a slight difference in uh, up uh, up counters we were using uh, q0 q1 q2 q3 or qa qb qc qd outputs for the up counters uh, here the only difference is we are using uh, qa bar qb bar qc bar and qd bar we can give uh, input to the next uh, flip flop here uh, and gates are connected uh, at the Q, qa and qa bar and qb bar and given as an input to the uh, C flip flop. Starting from the uh, flip flop A, output of uh, QA output is directly connected to uh, uh, J, JB and K, KB. Next, uh, output of QA bar and QB bar, they are uh, ended to with to give the inputs at JC and KC. In similar manner, uh, JD and KD will receive the uh, input, which is the ending of the uh, previous uh, 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 flip flop QA bar, QB bar, and QC bar. Uh, output QA, th these three outputs are ended together and given as an input. And initially, when all these flip flop are resetted to 0, 0, 0, at the arrival of the first clock pulse, since uh, the first flip flop is uh, uh, all these in uh, 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 the first flip flop is connected to logic 1, J1, K1, J, K, so the uh, A will uh, toggle uh, uh, change to state 1. Here, uh, earlier it was uh, 1, so this B will also 1, C and D will also 1. So the initial count will be 1, 1, 1, 1 at the arrival of the first clock pulse. In the second clock pulse, this A will toggle to 0, while B, C, D will remain to 1, 1, 1. So the count will be 1, 1, 1, 0. In similar manner, it will count down towards 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is the working of the down counter. The only difference is we are using uh, inverted outputs of all the flip flop that is QA bar, QB bar, QC bar and QD bar. Down counter. This is the second flip flop. Uh, second flip flop FFB input is inverted output of the previous flip flop. Whereas next stages of flip flop receives the inverted outputs of the previous flip flop with some additional logic circuitry that is the AND gate. Exercise assignment. How many numbers of flip flops are required to design mod n counter? And the answer is number of flip flops required will be equal to log n upon log 2, where n is equal to number of states of counter. Design of counter. Find the number of flip flops required. Write down the sequence in the tabular form. Determine the flip flop inputs which must be present for the desired next state from the present state using the excitation table of the flip flop. See, the excitation table consists of present state, next state, and uh, and uh, what should be the uh, inputs uh, that, is, that is written on the right hand side columns. Prepare KMF for flip flop uh, input in terms of flip flop outputs as the input variables. Simplify the KMF and obtain the minimize the expression. Connect the circuit using flip flop and other gates corresponding to the minimize the expression. Design of 3 bit counters. See, for 3 bit counters, we need 3 flip flops FF0, FF1, FF2. 
and their inputs and outputs are given below. So uh, FF0 will have input J0, K0, FF1, J1, K1, FF2, J2, K2 and their outputs are Q0, Q1, Q2 respectively. This is the design of transition table. So first of all, this is the ex uh, let us go through the excitation table. This is the first column, present state, second column, next state. And uh, for uh, to change from present state, state, state to next state, what, what should be the inputs? So zero, don't care, one, don't care, uh, don't care one, and uh, don't care zero. So this is what we are using over here. This QC, QB, QA, uh, present state, this again QC, QB, QA, next state, whereas the, these are the inputs, uh, JCKC, J, then JBKB, and JAK. For example, to change this QA to one, uh, to one we must uh, need JAK as one extra. Now QB, to change this, uh, to remain it uh, from zero to zero, we'll have we use zero, don't care. Again, Z, uh, QC, zero to zero, we again using zero K. So again, uh, next, we want to change uh, second second row. We want to change uh, QA from one to zero, we must have JAK X one. In this way, must prepare the different input conditions for the different present and the next state. So this is what the design of the transition table. After designing this transition table, we must prepare a K-mat to determine the input. So what it requires? It requires to determination of the inputs J0, J1, J2, K0, K1, K2 by considering the outputs Q2, Q1 and Q0 as a variables and uh, use uh, find out the pairs, quad and octet uh, to get the boolean expression for j0 k0 we got uh, a chord so j0 k0 will be equals to 1 here in the middle uh, tables for j1 and k1 map uh, we got this uh, uh, chord 1 x x1 x1 1 x so it is nothing but the uh, q0 j1 equal to k0 k1 equals to q0 in the last uh, left hand side two uh, tables j2 and k2 we got this one and x it's a pair so it is uh, q2 uh, q0 q1 so j2 equals to q0 q1 and k2 equal to q0 q1 so this is what we got the inputs of flip-flops using k map and the uh, design table j0 k0 equals to 1 j1 k1 equals to k0 j2 k2 equals to q0 q1 and with the uh, with this we can able to implement the logic circuit with the three flip of fs 0 1 2 as input j0 k0 j1 k1 j2 k2 and this j0 uh, 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 k1 equals to high at logic 1 uh, j1 uh, uh, k1 uh, equals to q0 whereas j2 k2 equals to uh, q0 q1 these are the references thank you